MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. A good one on tap for you this afternoon between the Houston Astros and the Oakland A's. And here's the left-handed hitting Michael Brantley. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. And that misses ball four. So a good battle to begin the ball game today, but the leadoff man will reach first anyway. Next up for the Strohs, Alex Bregman. Lifetime versus this arm. He comes in hitting right at a 300 clip. Into right field, that's a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. The second baseman, Jose so now to the plate, Jose Altuve. Unable to get the bat around in time and the count evens at two and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. So here's the Astros cleanup hitter, Jorgen Alvarez. Nine at-bats for him in the series so far, and he's collected a pair of hits. One and two now as that one's fouled off. From the stretch. Swing and a miss as he ran that two-seamer right by him for the second out. Coming to the plate now, Yuli Gurriel. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Two and one, here it is. Even count, two balls and two strikes. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Davis going back at the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Stepping in, Ramon Laureano. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now the one and one pitch is taken for ball two. Ball three. Tony Kemp is on deck. And he fouls this one off. Hopped up. Guriel waits on it. One away. So the base is empty here with one away. And striding toward the plate to hit next, Tony Kemp. 1-1. Is taken for strike two. I know he stole a strike right there, but he wants to get that curveball down or he's going to get hurt. Swing and a miss got him reaching. He makes the throw to first, two down. Striding in for Oakland, Marcus Semyon. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. Two and two. Two out, nobody on. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. And a good job there to lay off. It's ball four as he becomes their first base runner of the ball game now with two away. The first baseman, Two and one to the A's first baseman. Change up. Called a strike and he comes back even at two and two. Open to send him packing, pitch on its way. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. 
George Springer, the next to hit, comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. And they'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Good pitch there down two below two. the zone. Got him to go after it. Here's the pitch on two and two. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. So next to swing the bat will be Carlos Correa. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. And he'll lay off the fastball down low. It's two and one now. And it's two balls and two strikes now. You got to be paying attention as an offense in a hitters meeting in this situation. When you got a guy on the mound that you know the bottom can drop out of any pitch he throws, you have to elevate your sights. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Carlos Correa is sent packing for route number two in the inning. Reddick behind the ball and two strikes. Beautifully thrown splitter right there. High 80s down to the zone. Looks like a fastball coming and then boom, the bottom falls out of it. Terrific pitch. All even at two and two. Here it is. And there's a base hit on the line. Got it done. The captain. At the plate, Garrett Stubbs. And it's one and two. A two and two count to the Astros catcher. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. Three and two now. Now the payoff pitch home. And he popped him up. But this will land untouched. Reddick leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Lifted in the air out towards left center. After it is Davis. He tracks it down and that will end the inning. Set to get his day started, Mark Canna. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year. Looking to get things turned around in a hurry. I tried to jerk that one and it's two and two. Three balls and two strikes, a full count to the A's DH. He walked the guy back in the first and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think you're going to have any success. The third baseman striding in, Matt Chapman. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. Fouled away. The one two. A runner at first with no outs here. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Here's Chris Davis now. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. Here's the 3-1. Clearly off with his timing on that one, a swinging strike. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. Another full count pitch home is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Digging in now, Stephen Piscotti. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Swing and a ground ball to third. Bregman fields it cleanly onto the first baseman Guriel, and that will end the inning. With the plate, Michael Brantley. He drew a walk his first time up. And here's a fastball, not close as he runs it to two and one now. Three balls and a strike to Houston's left fielder. Well, that sets up a big pitch right here, Matt, because you don't want to lose the leadoff guy in a scoreless game. 
It's tough to work around the leadoff walk. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. Piscotty's going back. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. One out now in the Houston third. And that'll bring up the LSU product, Alex Bregman. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. Lifted in the air to center. Loriano is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. So bases are empty now here with two gone, and that'll bring in Jose Altuve. Altuve. 1 1. Is looked at for ball number two. This right handed pitcher, his bread and butter is that two seamer, and he loves to throw it inside. Heading out towards shallow right. Piscotti is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. So coming to the plate, Austin Allen. Two hits and eight tries for the series. One ball and two strikes to the A's catcher. One ball, two strikes. High in the air down the right field line. Reddick will get there as he tracks it down deep in foul territory for route number one. Next up for the A's, Ramon Laureano. He popped out in his first trip. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Hard ground ball to third. Bregman has it. Throw on to first is in time, and Grinky's got himself two outs. Stepping in now, the speedy Tony Kemp. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Change up just off the black, and it's 2 and 1. Two balls, one strike. This is swung on and hit to Altuve at second. He's got it. On to the first baseman, Guriel, and that will end the inning. set for the start of the inning. Now the Astros designated hitter, Jorgon Alvarez. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. The first baseman, at the plate, Yuli Gurriel. He flew out in his last at-bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Line toward right center. Piscotti is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. Digging in, George Springer. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. On a good pitch there, had him stretching to get out there, and it's two and two now. Man, that's another ugly swing right there. This team is just struggling so mightily to get on base. They've looked off the balance all game. Struck him out, so he set down on strikes for the second time today. Striding in once again, Marcus Semyon. He's set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Swing and a miss as he went after the slider there, and that'll run the count full. 
There's nothing better as a pitcher than throwing what should have been ball four, but you're able to get a guy to chase after it anyway. Guriel in foul ground. Right side. Guriel scoops it up. And he'll flip this on to Granke covering for the out. So here's the Oakland cleanup batter, Matt Olson, looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. And that pitch comes over to catch the corner. It's two and two now. Holds off on the breaking ball, so the count runs full. Mark Canna is on deck. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Back goes Springer, still ranging back. And goodbye, this one ain't coming back. At the plate now, Mark Canna. And a full count for Cannon now. Three balls and two strikes. High in the air out to center field. On the move is Springer. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Two away now in the Oakland fourth. And up next, the power hitting third baseman, Matt Chapman. Grinky ready now. The 1 1. Hit hard down the line. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. To two balls and two strikes now. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. A swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone, and the inning is over. Ready to go in the top of the fifth. Here's Carlos Correa now. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Hit out towards second. A dive, but he can't knock it down. It's through for a base hit. Now batting, right fielder. Josh. Into the box, Josh Reddick. High and deep to straightaway right. And he's going to make the catch on the warning track. A fine running play there for the first out. Striding in for Houston, now Garrett back. Stubbs. Catcher. Flied out in his Garrett. first at bat, so make it 0 for 1 so far. The 1 2 is laid off for oh. ball 2. Swing and a miss as he ran that two seamer right by him for the second out. Here's Michael Brantley. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. From the belt, the pitch lifted down the line in left. And no one will track it down. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. Hard hit ball to second. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to Olsen will take care of him at first, and that ends the inning. Chris Davis next to bat, looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. The 1-1. One, one. Hey, I couldn't tell from up here if the hitter was taken all the way or sitting fastball and just got knee buckled. Either way, that was a really good curveball right there. Move on to the next pitch, but have that in the back of your mind. Swung on in the dirt, strike three. The throw down to first, one away. Outfielder Steven Piscotti the next to hit. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. The 1 2. Hit high and deep to left field. Brantley going back. 
to the track to the wall and it's gone as they add still another. Into the box now Austin Allen. Oh, straightened him up there on that fastball. It's one and two now. It's funny. That pitch, I can picture being in the box. That pitch looks so good to hit, and why does no one ever get to it? A good executed high fastball usually blows nine out of ten guys away. So the now Oakland lineup turns over and to the plate. Ramon Laureano, 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. On the move is Reddick. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. New inning set to get underway. Stepping up to the plate, Alex Bregman. His line includes a single and a fly ball in two at bats thus far. Line toward right center. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. And this one will bounce into the wall. And the Astros get something started right away. It's a leadoff double. Now back second base. Jose Altuve. Standing in now, Jose Altuve. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take this to the bag himself for the first out. But it's a productive one as the runner moves up to third. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. And he's likely just trying to put one in play here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's 2 and 1 now. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. hit ball to second throw to first is in time but meanwhile the runner is in to score J.B. Wendelkin will come on and make his fourth appearance in this campaign coming to the plate now Yuli Gurriel he'll try and start things over now with the bases empty and two away following the RBI ground ball Fly ball out toward left center field. Loriano is right there as he tucks this one away to retire the side. Digging in to try it again. Tony Kemp 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Tried to bury one down and away, but it's a full count now, three and two. And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. And that's out number one. At the plate, Marcus Simeon. Low scoring game thus far. Two to one here in the sixth. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Oh, I love that pitch right there. Up and in. Jam. Sandwich. And the slider gets him swinging. Two gone. Now batting. Rinky looks in. Here's the two one. Squared that one up just a little late. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he struck him out. His eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Joaquin Soria will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Here's George Springer. He struck out twice thus far, so we'll see if he can fare any better here. The one two. Two and two. Struck him out. 
Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Ready once again, Carlos Correa. He was a strikeout victim his first trip and then collected a base hit his last time around. 1-1. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. All even now, 2-2. Two two. And now a pitch on the way. Full count, three and two. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. And it's fouled away. Another full count pitch home. Oh, and he lets him off the hook there, as this isn't even close for ball four. Now batting. So here's Josh Reddick, one for two on his line so far in the game. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Pulled toward right center field. Piscotti is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. Striding into the box. Garrett Stubbs. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Two, two. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Here comes the payoff pitch. And he missed with it. Ball four. So that means now the potential tying run will move into scoring position at second. Lou Trevino trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. Michael Brantley will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and two away. And that misses two and two. This is a huge pitch right here. I don't think he wants to go three two and have those runners be in motion. Look for him to be aggressive with what he thinks is his best pitch right now. Fouled off. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. I don't think he can afford another base runner here. So whatever pitch he feels best about, Whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. And that's by him into right field for a base hit. And they will hold that possible tying run at third as even with two away, they decide to put the stop sign on. The third base. Alex to the plate now. Alex Bregman. And he fouls this one off. the stretch the one two line drive to center field Loriano is there as he makes the catch and they'll tight rope out of danger as he strands the bases loaded so now it's Mark Canna it was a fly out for him in his last trip the one one Waves and misses for strike number two. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. They really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. So that brings up the always intense Matt Chapman. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. And this is low, ball two, two and one. The short hit hard. And a diving effort there, but it'll come up empty. It's a base hit. At the plate, Chris Davis. And that's taken for a cold strike two. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball.
two balls and two strikes. The count to Chris Davis. Keep in mind, people, the longer the at-bat, the higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning. Pulls this one in the air out to left. After it is Brantley, but he won't get there. It falls in. Now batter, the right fielder. In now, Stephen Piscotti fouled away. Two and two. Two balls, two strikes. And here's a swing and a miss. And that, folks, is a big out number two. The batter. Now to the, the plate, hit. Austin Allen. Austin. No hits to this point. Allen. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. And there's a base hit on the line. Now the relay home. Not in time as he just crosses the plate in time. Ryan Abreu will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Now pitching for the Astro, number 55. Stepping in now, Ramon Laureano. Three and two to the A's center fielder. Tony Kemp would be next. He misses ball four, so he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. In now, Tony Kemp. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Now this is on the ground a second. Is he going to get out of this? Over to first. He does get out of it, and the inning is over. Jake Diekman will come on and make his fourth appearance in this campaign. Ready to begin the eighth. Now at the plate, Jose Altuve. Not providing much out of the three hole in this one. Hitless in three at bats so far. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. Diekman is adjusting to the new normal as MLB now mandates that relievers reach the end of an inning or face three or more batters before being replaced. And for a one-time lefty specialist like this, that's a big change. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. There's Kemp to handle it, and that's the first out of the inning. Striding forward now is the DH, Jordan Alvarez. 0 for 3 with an RBI in this one. 1-1. Hits are even right now at five aside. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. And he chased it in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Alvarez is retired. Two down now. So two gone now in the Houston eighth. And digging into bat next, the Cuban import, Yuli Gurriel. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. He's fallen behind now. Three and one. George Springer would be next. And the count will be full. Popped him up. Chapman shading to his right. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Now at the plate, Marcus Semyon. 0 for 2 for him to this point. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Two balls, one strike. Slider can't find the zone here, and he's behind now. 3 and 1. Matt Olson will be next. 
Swing and a line drive. And that gets down, and we'll see if that's extra bases. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. And he will get there as the A's have themselves a leadoff double. Into the box now, Matt Olson. Let's see where they throw Olson on a three and one count. Got a good spot to be in right now. Pitchers falling behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. And this is taken here for ball four. Just the second walk he's allowed into his eighth inning of work. Now the 2 1. Strike two swinging. Eighth inning of this low scoring affair. Three to one our score. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. I'll tell you, it's a helpless feeling for a manager or a pitching coach when your pitchers are having a really hard time throwing strikes. What are you supposed to do other than keep trying new guys until someone starts attacking the zone? Swinging a blooper to the right side. Reddick coming on. He can't get to it. This one's down. And a relay home. And he's going to score with ease as the throw will be too late. Brad Peacock will come on and make his fourth appearance in this campaign. At the plate now, Matt Chapman. And it's fouled away. And here's a ball hit in the air. But this will land untouched. Four runs, seven hits, and no errors in the ballgame for the A's so far. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Springer on the run. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Stepping in, Chris Davis. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Davis waits on the 1-1. One, one. Four runs, seven hits, and no errors in the ballgame for the A's so far. Now about a 58-foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. Fouled off. Two two one more time. Hit hard up the middle. Altuve to his right. He has it over to Guriel for an inning ending double play. Oh, Liam Hendricks please. comes on from the now pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. 16. Stepping into the box, George Springer. Three at-bats for him in this one, all ending with him going down on strikes. They look like they're up against it here, down three on the road, trying to come back against the closer. High pop-up. And there's the first out. So stepping in, Carlos Correa. He's working on a one-for-two game so far. One is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. This offense has been underachieving all day, putting way too much pressure on their own pitching staff. Someone has to have a quality A-B and get this line going. And a swing and a miss there on a late-breaking slider as he set down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. And now a crowd reported at over 28,000 rise to their feet. And it's to two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. Last strike now for Houston. Here's one that misses inside and the counts run full now. Three and two. You know, you don't always have to straight challenge a guy on a three two count. With the three run lead. And he'll put this one away. And with that, the ball game is over. And a nice job here to come in and slam the door. That's his first save of the season, but it certainly won't be his last. And the score finishes 4-1 to one today.
The Oakland A's took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Frankie Montes gets the win on the mound his first of the year. Zach Greinke struck out 10 in the losing effort. Liam Hendricks earns the save out of the bullpen his first of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Here now is our final lunch for this afternoon. First for the victorious Athletics. Four runs, seven hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. For the Astros, one run, five hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 54 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.